we have an opportunity to get a photograph of this object as it passes close by the planet Mars in early October, coming within about 28 million kilometers, which is still pretty far, but it's close enough for two European Mars orbiters to get a decent look. The European Space Agency will use both the Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter to observe 3i Atlas using high-resolution cameras and color imaging systems. Now, it's not like we'll get a beautiful close-up or anything, but there should be just enough resolution to distinguish between the cloud of gas surrounding the object and whatever is at the center of that cloud. So we could maybe get an idea about what the shape of the object actually is. And then by late October, from our point of view on Earth, 3i Atlas will pass behind the sun, and we won't be able to see it again until December, at which point it'll be on the way out of the solar system again. But we'll get one last chance. On March 16th, 2026, 3i Atlas will fly past Jupiter at a distance of 53 million kilometers. Still pretty far away, but we do have one active probe out there in the orbit of Jupiter. It's called Juno. It's an older spacecraft. It's been at the Jupiter system since 2016, and the end of the probe's scientific mission is actually scheduled for September 2025. NASA was planning to just crash the probe into Jupiter to dispose of it and see what happens along the way, but another potential end-of-life mission could be to try and intercept 3i Atlas on its way out of the solar system. So as weird as it's been studying this object so far, we are not done with it yet. There's still a lot to learn. We will get answers. We'll probably also get just as many new questions. And that is what makes this all so fun.